Hi, this is Rochelle with Journal Life's Journey, and I am going to make a junk journal insert using some junk mail envelopes that I've been collecting. So I have two of each size. I have two of the standard smaller size, and then two that are approximately half letter size. The two larger ones I opened on one end, and the other two have never been sealed, so the flaps are open. So I have some digital papers, just random digital papers from a variety of different places. And I don't even remember where some of them are from. Uh, I think this is from Antique Paper Read, but I'm not sure. Um, but I'm going to be using those to cover and collage on the envelopes. And again, I'm making a journal insert. So I do have a journal in mind that I would use this for. But I think in the future, I'll make them just randomly so that I can use in any project. So here I'm going to put the two larger envelopes together using some masking tape. One of them is slightly taller than the other, but I will trim it so that the heights will be the same. and I'm just folding where the masking tape is. I did put the masking tape on both sides. Wanna make sure that's sturdy because that area is the area that will be stitched into the journal. So here I'm just testing out, auditioning the different papers that I've chosen for this. And I'm going ahead and inking everything up using Vintage Photo. And now again, just testing the paper that I chose for size and I am tearing. So I'm using my ruler just to tear, no measuring. I'm just using the paper that I'm gonna be collaging on and matting on as a guide. Here's where I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the top edge to make sure that it's even. And then I'm going to hit it again with the vintage photo. Some of the collage pieces I used vintage photo for the edges and some of it I didn't. This was just kind of a random project. I felt like doing something in the craft lab and I just came in and came up with this idea and just started working on it with the random things that I had close at hand. So I'm gonna use my Scotch Create glue stick to cover the majority of the surface area, using that as my adhesive. And then I'm going to use my Tombow Aqua to go around the edge. Now, even though I only put glue on one half of the envelopes or one of the envelopes, I am gonna let this sheet uh, cross over the fold. That's not always a good idea to do, but since this paper is so thin, I thought it, I was safe doing it. So I'm just adding some of the glue stick to the other side, to the other envelope, and again, going around the edge with the Tombow. Just using my card to smooth all of that out. And now I'm going to just collage around the window. This window uh, for this envelope is an odd shape, but I'm going to ignore that and I'm just gonna make it a rectangular shape using the different pieces of paper that I'm collaging around it. Here I'm just adding the collage pieces again around the 
window of the envelope and I'm just covering it to make it a single square instead of the odd shape. And now I am considering what I can use inside the envelope as a backing so that the security uh, design in the envelope does not show. And there will be something in this pocket, but I want something to back it so that when that something is not in the pocket, we don't see just that security design. And this doesn't have to fit perfectly. I just want something to show through on that window. So I used one of the off cuts um, from the paper I had already used. Here I'm just working that fold, making sure that I keep everything trained and ready to fold. And I did wait a while before I folded that. Uh, you don't want to fold it while the glue is still wet. So I did wait. Just checking to make sure my pocket is still open and everything is glued down. So now for the two smaller envelopes, I'm going to use those as flaps to add to the main part of the insert or the larger envelopes. I'm inking that up. This paper is one of the papers available in my shop. I will link to it in the description box below. So in this instance, I went ahead and inked around the paper that I'm gonna mat the envelope with and added the glue. However, I did not take into account the window and I do want this envelope to remain open. There is no plastic or cellophane in that window. It's just an empty window. So I'm gonna use washi tape with the sticky side up to protect that area and keep that window open so that when I glue the mat on, it doesn't seal up my envelope. Hopefully that makes sense. What I should have initially done was put the glue on the envelope instead of on the paper, but I didn't think of it. So I'm doing this as a way to keep the envelope open and it worked fine. So I'm just doing a dry fit to make sure that the envelope is going to fit and how that's going to look and then I'm going to cover the other envelope. And my paper is a little short but I'm using it anyway. Um, I'll account for that later. Again I'm inking the edges And this time I remember to put the glue on the actual envelope instead of on the matting paper. And just dry fitting again to make sure that everything fits. I'm going to continue matting by adding collage pieces on the other side of the two larger envelopes. I'm just using some of the offcuts and random pieces that I have to cover this side. And I'm leaving the window visible on this side as well. 
since this is a journal insert, uh, it'll show as four separate pages depending on where I place it within the journal. The only way that it will all be together is if I place it as part of the center, but I doubt I will be using it that way. It will just be a set of four pages uh, added to the journal. So each section, you will see each section separately. So now that it's all collaged and I reinforce the fold, I am going to add a backing piece uh, to show through that window on this side as well. And again, that piece does not have to cover the entirety of the inside of the envelope. I just need it to cover where the window area is. So now I'm going to work on the two smaller envelopes on the side where the opening is. For this part, I am just going to go straight across the envelope opening. I'm not going to follow that shape but I do want to keep the envelopes open and they will eventually be two different style pockets. So I do not want to close up the envelope. So again, I'm adding the glue to the envelope, the glue stick, and then I will go around the edge of the matting paper with the liquid glue. Now this seals the envelope as a side opening uh, by the fold, but I am going to trim off one of the sides to open it up as and use it as a pocket. Same thing on this side, glue stick on the envelope, wet glue around the edge of the matting paper. And because the paper is was a little short, I'm going to do a little collage uh, by adding some more offcuts in the area where the matting paper was a little too short for the envelope. And 
in here. I'm going to use some lace that I had on my desk to cover the area at the bottom of the envelope on the other side where the matting paper was a little short. And the lace matches well, so that worked out great. I'm just using a little fabric tack with that and putting the lace in place. So I have a little lifting in the area of the fold. So I'm going to use some washi tape and a little glue stick to repair that. And I think the washi tape will also add uh, to the vintage, well-used look that I want for this. And it is kind of a patchwork of different designs. Uh, I'm not using any particular kit just some random papers that I had close at hand. So this washi tape is gonna help not only add to the look of it, but it also serves the purpose of making sure that some of those areas that might lift when it folds, it's gonna make sure that those stay in place. Just touching up the inking, inking over the washi tape. And now I'm going to add some of this crochet trim from the Dollar Tree to the other side of the envelope flaps. I just thought it needed a little something. And this is just one step in the embellishment of this insert. I will embellish and add to this even more than just adding the lace and crochet trim. If you like projects like this, videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment let me know what you think also you may be interested in my other channel it is scrap craftastic i'll link it in the icard up above and in the description box below so the way that this is put together it can really fold in Either direction, the flaps can go fold on the inside or the outside. Uh, I can change the way it folds. So it just depends on how it looks once I put it into the journal. So I have some DIY vintage style tape. This isn't the clear tape. I actually use artist tape, which is very sturdy, acid free, and all that. And it's very, very sticky. I, created this on wax paper and it, I've had it for a while so it wanted to stick to the wax paper but I was able to pull it up and just to make sure that it continues to stick I added some glue stick to it and I'm using those pieces of tape to give even a more worn vintage look. At the time that I made the tape I did not have alcohol inks. I have some now but I still don't have uh, the right colors to make the vintage uh, DIY clear tape, but I use my alcohol ink markers to do these, and I think it works pretty much the same. I haven't tried it with the clear tape, but I will try it with the clear tape and see how it works. So I think I lost some footage where I made these two pockets in one of the smaller envelopes. So, and I glued down the center of that envelope. So because I did that, I have two pockets and I put the notches off to the side. 
So I'm just showing you that those are pockets. And then this envelope is a long pocket. So a long tag will have to go in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a notch in the top load small envelope. So I'm just marking the center. And I'm gonna use my one inch circle punch to make a notch. And I couldn't uh, cut through both layers, so I'm doing them separately, but I do want the notch on the front and the back. So there we have the notch. I'm gonna re-ink. And that's all I'm gonna do for the base. I will definitely come back and embellish and add to this. There will be a list of the supplies that I used in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll holla at y'all next time. Bye.